What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you love DIYs as much as I do. So today I'm gonna show you how I made three super cute, super easy Dollar Tree pineapple DIYs. Most of the items I did purchase from Dollar Tree, I will tell you guys where I got the other items and I will also link below all the paints I used as always. So let's get into it. For this first one, you are going to need some foam board, which if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know foam board and poster board are my favorites. So I picked up these letters from Walmart. They were $1.47, I wanna say. And if you guys remember from my haul a couple months ago, I found this pineapple at uh, TJ Maxx, I believe, for 70 cents. So I am finally gonna put this to use and I have decided what I want to make with it. So originally I was gonna paint the foam board, but I decided, hey, you know what? Why not use some wood colored or wood looking cardstock? So my husband actually ran to Joann's for me and he found both of these and I am in love with both of them. I could not decide which one I wanted to use. Originally I was gonna use the darker one, but I, for some reason, I just liked how the other one looked better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take these, all of these little pieces outside and spray paint them with my Krylon Deep Gray Matte Spray Paint and because I'm gonna be making them look like metal. So while those are drying, after I went and spray painted those, I'm gonna be gluing this cardstock onto the foam board and I'm just using my matte Mod Podge. I don't think it matters what kind of Mod Podge you use or what kind of glue for that matter. I was just using this because I had it on hand. So I'm just brushing it all over the foam board and then I'm gonna stick the cardstock down to it. I did have to cut the third piece of the cardstock so that it would fit on the foam board because I'm just making it um, the length of the foam board and then I'm going to use my exacto knife and cut it like right I'm just gonna have it be about 12 inches tall originally I was gonna have it be a little bit taller but this is actually gonna turn out pretty perfect and I'm actually cutting on one of those little cutting uh, mats from Dollar Tree it comes in a little two-pack and these have come in super handy for my crafts lately Next, I'm taking my Platinum Folk Art acrylic paint and I'm just gonna sponge it on with a tiny sponge and just make this look galvanized. Now I'm gonna take my ruler and a pencil and I'm just gonna draw some lines and make it look like a pineapple. And then I'm gonna go in and take some black paint and then my cocoa bean paint that kind of looks rusty and I'm gonna mix those two together and just uh, go along the outside of the letters in the pineapple and then the, also the lines on the pineapple and just make it look rusty. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them on. I'm using a mixture of my E6000 and my hot glue just to get it to stick right away. And I didn't measure it or anything. I'm just kind of spacing it out with my eyes so it might not be totally even. Um, if you wanna be more like precise with it, I would use a ruler, but I just was kind of going by what I was looking at and I think it looks pretty straight. And now I'm taking some twine that I have from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna kind of make a little border with it. Like it just didn't really feel completely finished because it's the foam board. So I'm just gonna hot glue a little twine border and I think this finishes it off nicely and makes it look more complete. And now for the second little DIY, I'm using these wood stems from Dollar Tree. I bought them a couple months ago and I had no clue what I wanted to do with them. 
and I was trying to figure out something I could do with these to do with pineapples. So I decided I'm just gonna make a little wood stem pineapple. So I'm just gonna start gluing them together. I didn't really have a rhyme or reason. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just gonna kind of glue them together and make it look like a little pineapple base. And then I have something else I'm gonna be using for the pineapple top. So now for the top, I'm going to be using this little thing right here. It is actually a succulent or it came in like a little package of succulents that I had and I cut, it had like a stick that, you know, you stick into something for decoration or whatever. And so I just cut that part off and then I ended up gluing this onto it and I think it looks so stinking cute. It looks like a little pineapple. And now for this last one, I'm using my little Jenga blocks or tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna make a couple little coasters. So I'm probably gonna put these outside. I just recently made a little uh, patio table so I will probably put these out there with that. So I'm just kind of making a little like more of like a rectangular shape and I'm going to glue these all together with my hot glue gun and then I'm gonna paint them. Now I'm just using some white paint that I picked up from Walmart and I'm just gonna paint the entire thing white and the sides. I didn't worry about the bottom because you're really not gonna see that part. Next, I went online and I just Googled cartoon pineapple and I'm gonna do the little pencil trick on here to transfer it onto the coaster. So I'm just tracing the back with the pencil and my girl Kristen K first taught me how to do this. I never even knew that this was a thing and I saw her do it in one of her DIYs and I'm obsessed now. So I just traced the back of it and then I'm gonna put this on the coaster and then you scribble the top with pencil and it's gonna transfer the pineapple onto the white the coaster. So it's not super, super um, dark, like it's kind of hard to see, but I, it's, I was able to see it. And then I'm gonna take some of my gold paint and I'm just gonna paint the pineapple. Next, I really liked how the home sign looked with the twine um, border kind of, or frame, whatever you want to call it. So I am actually going to do this with the coasters as well. So I'm just gluing the twine right on here and it's just going to kind of make it look a little more finished. And I just think it looks cute, like a little frame for it. Now you can totally leave it like this if you would like, but I decided to take a black marker and just outline the pineapple and then that way I could put the little lines across the bottom as well so it would look more like a pineapple, but it's totally up to you. You could leave it blank or you could outline it. And now I'm just gonna take some of my Mod Podge. This is not the matte, this is just the regular. And I'm just gonna put some of this on there to kind of protect it because I do plan on putting drinks on it. I hope you guys enjoyed these three DIYs. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. I kind of am leaning towards the home sign, but then the little itty bitty pineapple is really cute too. I can't decide. So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you all soon. Bye.